Welcome back to I Got Something to Say. Hey, what's up? It's your boy. Get with your man. You know who it is. Um, wow. It's been about three weeks. Three or four weeks. It's been about a month. I took a long hiatus from um, uh, putting out a video, man. Those 30 days, I mean, I put out one video straight back to back for, for 30 days straight. And I want to thank y'all. I thank everybody who kept watching and is still watching my videos. Uh, it was a, it, that was very empowering. Yes, it was. I really enjoyed uh, excuse me, putting out thing, putting out content that um, is, is, is practical and that really spoke to the gay community. I love advocating for gay for the gay community. I love this, uh, being an activist in this way, bringing issues to you and stating and, and really expressing myself the way that I want to express myself. You know, that's what I want to get to. That's my way of, of being an activist. That's my social conscious method. And I, I love talking about it, even now. I mean, I haven't, of course, I still write for Examiner. Uh, that's exm.nr slash gkelly. G K E L E Y. You can catch my articles on Examiner. Um, it, 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 it's, it's wild. Um, so many things have been happening to me. I didn't have to wave it all over the place. So many things have been happening to me. I've been invited to so many events. Um, I've been invited to do a little few podcasts. I'm getting a little bit well known. Um, uh, what else? My book. Yes. The book for the love of, and I and I've actually put that on my Facebook, which you can check me out. So remember, Facebook is Soul Swirl. People think it's G Kelly, but it's not. It's Soul Swirl. So it's Facebook. Soul Swirl is the name. of S O S W I R L. Um, my G plus, you know, it's S O S W I R L. And blogger is Soul Swirl dot blogspot dot com. Uh, uh, where I got my where I got my Regular blog, where I have my personal blog, and then I got my illiterate trite blog. That's the illiterate trite, all one word: t h e i l l i p e r a t e t r i p e. I hope I spelled that right. The illiterate trite dot blogspot dot com, um, where I express a lot of my. Uh, it allows me to. That's the place where I, I express my poems. Express my flash writing um, book that I'm putting out. It's a flash writing of you know of my reality you know, as part of my reality novella, and and now the reality novella that I've been talking about for the last eight or nine months for the love of and for the love of too will be coming out soon. I got review pages, I got cover pages, and let me tell you, uh, and it, this whole thing is interesting as fuck. Okay. <laughs> First of all, I'm breaking all the rules. I'm scared. I'm going to let you know something. I'm scared for putting out this fucking book. And, and why am I scared? I'm scared because I'm breaking all the fucking rules. <laughs> I mean, really breaking the rules. The fucking book has no chapters. Um, it has no index. It has nothing like that. Um, I'm surprised I got page numbers. Um, I left all the mistakes in there because everything about this book symbolizes something. So when you get this, so if you buy my book, and I'm not telling you to buy my book, um, what I'm doing, I'm telling you that the book has a message. And from writing the book to reading the book, it, it is steeped in symbolism. Steeped. Um, I'm a I'm a person that believes that you don't you, when you live life, you know you always hear about this thing called the book of life, right? Well, when you, the book of life don't have no fucking chapters, there's no chapters that you can review in your life that will tell you what's going to happen in the future. You know, a book, you can go to the very few page, first page of the preface, you can get a little sum up, and then you can get a little pages, and you can kind of know where the book is kind of going. Well, in life, you don't got that. The real book of life is not edited. You know, who, who writes and does everything perfectly and doesn't have to go to an editor? To, you know, somebody, you are, you, everything in the book is edited. But this book, I didn't want any edits. I made mistakes in this book. Uh, error, grammatical errors, and I'm not talking about purposely. When I wrote, that's not, when I, I feel like when I wrote, when I write things, 
is, is I'm going to write it like life. I had to live life, make mistakes. People see my mistakes. I, you didn't know life. There's no eraser of life to correct the mistakes of life in the book of life. You know what I'm saying? You live life. You make mistakes. People are going to see it. You move on. And the next time it happens, you learn from it. And I wrote my book the same way. When you think, you, there is no, it's not seamless all the time. And you've got things that have, it, 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 it's not seamless and sometimes thoughts get out of sequence. When you live life, things are not always seamless and sometimes they're out of sequence and things can happen and, you know, things are coming all over the place and, you know, you get a little, you know, it's life. That's how it is. So why, and I'm creating a reality novella, why would I write a book that didn't have any mistakes? I know it seems eccentric, it seems different, it seems out of this world, but I'm telling the truth. Why would, if I'm writing over something I believe is a reality novella, which if the book is fictitious, it, 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 it's all fiction, and, but it's based on the reality of that I've seen in my life. You know, and so it's chopped up and it's hodgepodge and it's potpourri, you know, it's a potpourri of things that happen. So, but it's, but it's something that I've envisioned and seen or seen happen. And, I'm, and I've given homage to that in my life in that book. And I would be doing it, in ju- I felt like I'd be doing injustice to my life if I wrote it, if I had someone come to and chop my dick off in the process. No, I'm giving it to you real. And a lot of writing that I do allows me to um, express myself. It allows me to put clarity on the things that happen in my life. So this book, this book, is for it is it's for people to read and you know and, and get a message. <clears throat> and if you're more worried, and I'm telling you, be fucking honest, if you're more worried that there were two dogs there or there was a fucking grammatical error or you see something or whatever the bullshit, then you are getting then you aren't meant to get the fucking message. There's a message in reading my in my reality novella. I wrote the murder novella about a person who's going through things and developed and was stupid in, in some cases and, and he learned something. I mean, it's just learning. You know, I, I went through, I, this person went through things and just like I did and I want to express that. And some of the things seem fucking off the wall, like writing a book that doesn't get any editing. But yeah, true. You know what I mean? It, it's real. It's as real as it can get as far as the reality in my mind. And but no one said the reality in my mind was was was, was speaking truth. <laughs> the whole thing I just want to say is that the book is 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 fantastic as far as learning that life is not always fair. Life is not always what you want it to be. You take it and you roll with it. This is what, in the book, from writing it to how it's written to the not editing to everything, that it symbolizes that. You do what you do, and you hope for the best and expect the, but you expect the worst because you know worse is always going to be uh, real as, as the best. And that's what my book is all about. And then just throw gay in there and throw black in there, and you have for the love of, and for the love of verse 2, which, by the way, they decide to smash and they're making one book, two, so you get all of it in one shot. And with a picture that I have no clue, but it's beautiful. It symbolizes my, it symbolizes my dog in Atlanta. I, oh, yeah, and if you, if you see the cover on my Facebook page, um, and the, the cover is of a dog that symbolizes my dog. <laughs> that, I, that I miss in Atlanta. I always said that if I get a book come out, um, I was going to put a picture of something of someone that, I, that was very close to me and my dog was very close to me. And that was not a picture of him. It's hard to explain. Okay, so there you have it. I want to get that out. I want to really talk about the book a little bit. Not buying it. Fuck it. If you don't buy it, it's a fuck it. I, I mean, it's, I, I, I want you to buy it if you do get it. I want you to get it because you realize that that is life. And not and gay life is not all foo foo, flowery. Sometimes it's struggle and it's hard, and, and especially living out loud. Because and, and I mean I've been I did things that I'm all I'm I'm not totally proud of. Um, there are things that happen. And I mean, in the book reflects that there are things that I'm totally am proud of for keeping to be me. 
Um, there are things I'm not proud of because I did things I had to do. But the book reflects that. It's not all. It's not real. Like it's not accurate. Like because I'm not gonna fucking. I'm I, I'm responsible. You know what I mean? And, and, and it, this is something else I'll let everyone and I'll go. The 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 editors are so hard. It's like, well, make sure this isn't real because there's a lot of unflattering things that happen. I'm like, well, fuck yeah, there's a lot of unflattering things that happen. But we're talking about things that I that 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 I the reality that I've experienced, the reality that I've experienced. And there was a lot of drugs and stuff like that there. <clears throat> and you know, you know, I'm I'm around lots of there are lots of lots of partying. There's lots of pips, holes, and hustlers. I mean, seriously. So the book reflects a lot of stories around that. Doesn't I mean? I mean, and, and, and the book reflects that there's good people and everything that there can be. There's good in everything that you find and see. So you have to read it for yourself. Uh, errors and all, the book is there. Um, soon it'll be come out. I'll tell you when. Remember, it's for the love of, for the love of verse two. Um, check me out on examiner exm nr slash g uh, kelly k e l l e y. As always, stay down with the swirl and peace the fuck out.